Hi, this is Mr. Data, and welcome back to the Dataverse, where I crunch the numbers so you don't have to. So today I've got a pretty fun and really short video here for you. Um, we're going to walk through one of the, the most asked questions in, that I've seen across the board, and that is auto sorters. Um, and honestly, a lot of people don't know how to make them, myself included. Um, and I was really happy to have Celtic here. Say hey, Celtic. Hey, Celtic. I was really happy to have Celtic here. He showed me how to how to do it, so I want to share that with you guys as well. Um, so let's jump into it. Um, first thing we want to look at are, you know, what do the hoppers do themselves? Um, so I'm going to pull one of those out. And as we can see, it is uh, place hopper down for automatic collecting mining drops, and that is one chunk. That's how big that can do it. So I am on Java, so I'm going to hold F3 and hit G. And that's going to show me my chunks. Now, if you are not on Java, you're on Bedrock, you just type in slash chunk borders. And we get these nice little red dots here. Now, the big thing to remember here is whatever's broken in here, whatever ores are dropped, it's going to be picked up. Um, and as you can see, I put this barely in line so that it'll pick all that up. Because I want to just make sure we had plenty of space. But I'm going to turn this back off. Chunk borders. All right, cool. So what we've got set up here, this is pretty normal how how you'd see these. Um, you know, obviously a lot more chests and whatnot, and, well, we'll show you. So let's go through, and we're going to mine. Oh, and another, another neat thing here. Um, I've seen a couple improvements on this, and I love that I've seen that in the community. Um, quick way to make this more efficient, close up the end, add this little trap door, <laughs> had this little trap door and you can run back and forth without ever having to stop so let's let's go ahead and fill up our chest out there all right and as you can see i'm just going to go back and i get caught and then i immediately just change the direction super quick super easy and all of this is in one chunk so it you know makes it pretty pretty quick all right i'm guessing that probably filled us up for the most part all right let's take a look yeah, all right. So for now, that's our old setup. And as you can tell, it is uh, really junked up and it's gonna take you a while to get all that cleaned up. So let's take all these off, get rid of them. And so now we wanna show you a couple different ways to do it. So I'm gonna put an ore hopper back here. Actually, why don't we just start a new chest here? All right, so I'm gonna take this. And I'm also going to grab an auto cell chest. So I'm going to put down this auto cell chest here. And I'm just going to put a hopper directly on it. And what I want to do with this, um, because I'm short on cash, I want to make some money. I'm going to crouch with nothing in my hand and just right click it. And it brings up the UI. So this will enable you to select exactly what you want. Now everything that is lit up means that it will catch that. So what I wanna do here, I'm going to uncheck absolutely everything, but I only want it to catch diamonds, emeralds, and yeah, we'll just do diamonds and emeralds, make that easy. I'm gonna uncheck everything else. So that'll make me some quick cash. Now, what that means is that's it. So we can check that again. We're going to crouch, click on that, and now it will only pick up, as you can see, they're shining. It will only pick up blocks of emeralds, blocks of diamonds, and single emeralds and single diamonds. So then uh, we'll put this back down here for right now just to show. Then we're going to go back in here and mine again. Actually, Celtic, do you have your super breaker up? Can you, can you run this through this for me? I just used mine up. Funny thing, I'm on bedrock and I don't know how to activate my super breaker with my control. Oh, we'll have to look into that. That's weird. <laughs> okay, um, I that'll be a future video. Okay, so, um, <coughs> excuse me. All right, so as you can see, I've destroyed some emeralds, I've destroyed some diamonds, and then we're just gonna run back out here. And we can see in our cell chest that is all that this hopper has picked up. That's it. Now, the really neat thing here is we can set this up 
so that it will automatically smelt certain items. So I'm going to destroy these again. And then I'm going to put one on the back so that it will go ahead and pick up coal. So let's do that. I'm going to uncheck this box. All, oh, whoops. Actually, yeah, we want it to pick up coal ore. So we're going to uncheck the rest of these. So I only want it to pick up, yeah, only want it to pick up single coal and blocks of coal. I don't want it to pick up anything else. And this will load it into the bottom half directly. All right. And then for the top half, I want it to only pick up raw iron, just anything that I can smell. That's all I want it to pick up. I'm going to move that to uh, raw iron, gold, copper, and I think that'll do it. All right. Let's do some mining real quick, Celtic. Sounds good, buddy. All right. So as you can see, I'm mining copper, I'm mining iron, I'm mining all this. And Celtic's helping me out to speed up the process a little bit here so we can show you all right so let's check it oh wrong one <coughs> excuse me again okay so as we can see here it's automatically smelting for me and this is filled up with iron and gold and then on the back we've got it's already picking up coal and it has already put another thing of coal inside of it and so it'll smelt those automatically for us and start depositing it directly. So the neat thing about this is this is as expandable as you possibly want it to be. So you can make one of these that's only single diamonds, one that's only blocks of diamonds, one that's only, you know, whatever you need. If you just want cobblestone and you want to only pull out cobblestone, great, do that. Um, so that you don't have to do it with this horrid mess ever again and also you can do this like we did over here and hook them up to auto sell chests now I want to show you the same thing oh actually we forgot to make it a lot better let's look at changing this out to add in a um, a super furnace so I'm gonna do slash M craft Make it here. All right, and oh, thanks. I'm gonna put that in there. Now watch this, guys. So fast, just pumping it out like it's nothing. Um, you guys get a bunch of these running, set up for each individual ore that you can think of, and you will have a massive storehouse before you know it. It's a great system, and honestly, it <laughs> when when Celtic showed me. My mind was blown at honestly just how easy it is. Um, I was, I don't know if I was happy or annoyed, but either way, I'm happy now. Um, so, anyways, next we've got our spiders. So, again, same thing. We can just hit these like crazy. Oh, and hey, Jonas. We, oh, it's Jonas. Hey, Jonas. So, we see it's starting to fill up here. Um, then. Again, let's check our chunk borders. Yeah. All right. So I want to do a auto cell chest. And the reason I picked spiders, by the way, is I've been working really hard on that cactus farm that I showed you a couple videos ago. Actually, no, that was last video. Um, so I want it to get rid of everything that is not string. I only want string. And actually, I'm going to build this pretty tall here. All right, so now, oh, whoops, I need to empty out my hand. Can't have anything in there. All right, so now I'm going to block everything here except for exactly what I want to see. Actually, no, we can just leave all that. Yeah, let's just leave all that, um, and let's only make it so that it will not pick up string. It's the only thing I care that it does not pick up. So now 
when he starts to hit that. Go ahead, man. All right, so now he starts to hit that. We'll see this start to trickle down. And also, this is the chest. Actually, let's put the chest here. I want to put this chest here. I want to collect as much string as I can to save me money on buying that. Put that there. Put that there. All right. Put my popper there. Oh. Nah, that don't matter. All right. So then let's block everything except string. String is the only thing that I want now. it does take a little bit of time to click through it but it's obviously obviously worth it and as you can see none of these are shining anymore the only one that's shining is that string so that is the only thing that it will pick up although if he's been killing them over there then uh, it's probably been picking up a lot more in the meantime but uh, let's see Almost done. Okay, almost finished. All right, so there we go, see? So now we can kill these as much as we want. And then we can see our chest start to fill up here, including the fermented eyes. They're gonna be auto sold. We don't have to worry about it. And we've already almost got a full chest of string ready to put right to our cactus farm. So, that is honestly about it, guys. It's really simple, really easy. Um, if you want to know how to make that cactus farm I was talking about, I've got a video for that. Um, also, this wonderful one-sided um, cobble generator, we've got a video for that too, as well as the double-sided one. Um, and other than that... Uh, Celtic, anything else you can think of we need to mention? Nope. You did an awesome job, buddy. All right. Well, guys, um, the next big video I'm wanting to put out, it's going to be the most, the, the, the biggest data dive yet. Um, I'm going to be reviewing the difference in servants and minions, along with I'm trying to put together a breakdown on, well, on exactly how much you earn per hour based on all the different upgrades, sell bonuses, that kind of thing. It is going to be a massive data dump. But anyways, that's it. And um, see you guys on the leaderboards.